Hey everybody, what's up, what's new, and what's going on, and welcome back to the 2012 CPB Men's Singles Semi-Finals set number 3, the deciding set between these two amazing players, Nathan Lee on the far side of the court and Jason Ho Shu on the near side of the court, and so far it's been a spectacular matchup with a lot of ups and downs, like a seesaw battle between the two. Especially in the second set, Nathan Lee thought thought he had the match, or he thought he had the match uh, ready and delivered to him on a silver platter. But Jason Hoshu just coming back with a vengeance and taking that second set in the later stages of that set and doing so well to come back from that. Both of these one, uh, both of these players w desperately want to be in the finals, and both of these players are just duking it out to get into the final stages or to get into the final matchup. And anyway, this is a battle between Jason Hoshu, the 13-year-old sensation from E Badminton, already a national champion in the under 14 age category, versus the uh, Ontario or the Canadian college and university runner up in, ba in men's singles badminton, uh, Nathan Lee on the far side of the court. So Basically, the older, wiser, and probably just as successful um, player versus. Whoa, that was cool. Did anybody see that? That was just so, so awesome. Uh, covering the net so well, forcing J Jason Hoshu to, to either lift really high or go for the cross court. He covered for the cross court, and Nathan Lee easily getting a 3 1 lead with that big net smash to start this third set. And you can bet that both of these players will be going all out for it. Mind you, neither of these players have been tested in any of the previous rounds. Uh, both of these players just breezing through their side of the draws and winning in straight sets in all their previous matchups. So they haven't really been tested. They haven't really been, um, been trying their hardest the entire time. But now they have to push. Now they have to go and say, okay in order to win this uh, third set. What do I need to do? I'm going to need to put in 100% of my effort and find a way to beat my opponent because for bo in both these uh, players' cases, their opponents are extremely strong and extremely different from, from their own playing style. Jason Hoshu, so energetic, s such great court, uh, court coverage and such great technique but lacking a little bit of the experience just because he's used to playing in the junior level but that <laughs> that doesn't prevent him from attacking like he uh, like he's playing in a doubles match really because he smashed from the back of the court followed it up and smashed it right at the front of the net didn't even let the a chance uh, give the a chance for the birdie to drop in that last rally whereas Nathan Lee is the one who's who's going a little bit more uh, defensive uh, and got a little bit more experience just because he's probably been playing for a lot longer than Jason Hoshu. He's uh, lived for a lot longer than Jason Hoshu. So uh, experience is gonna is gonna count. He's gonna uh, Nathan Lee's probably gonna be looking to save a little bit more energy. Uh, doesn't mind going on defense once in a while um, and. And find a way to sneak past Jason Hoshu, uh, getting a few points here and there, and uh, and whatnot. So Nathan Lee already has a two-point lead right now. But when Jason Hoshu is on his game, his smashes are just so deadly, so accurate, as we saw there, and bringing it back to a one-point deficit for Jason Hoshu as he's about to serve. So this is this is just going to be a crazy ending to an amazing semifinal right here. Who is going to make it into the finals? It's so hard to tell. Even after two and a half sets, there's nobody who will know who's going to uh, make it uh, make it through to the final right now. Both of these players have their strengths, have their weaknesses. We saw in the first two sets, Jason Hoshu, whenever he smashes, whenever his smashes are on point, they're so effective, so powerful, and so good at winning uh, easy points. But... Uh, that smash is prone to prone to falling into the net and is prone to hitting just a little bit wide every once in a while and he does have his slumps every once in a while whereas um, in the first sets 
Nathan Lee was able to use utilize a drop shot to such great effect. Every time he used the drop shot, he caught Jason Hoshu either completely off guard or even when Jason Hoshu was able to return it, uh, he was in, uh, Jason Hoshu was in such a defensive position, uh, and you know that won him the first set. So as they change birdies and uh, tip the birdies just because uh, these black knight birdies they tend to be flying a little bit uh, on the fast side uh, some people like to tip them other people uh, would rather just leave them alone but as they get ready here Nathan Lee with a 9-5 lead up by 4 points and serving can he close off this match can he make it an easy third set it's going to be hard to tell, but if Jason Hoshu is going to be hitting it that far outside the baseline, <laughs> Nathan Lee is going to have an easy time maintaining this 5-point lead right here. But you can see, uh, Jason Hoshu is desperately looking for, for a chance to attack, and whenever he does get a chance to attack, he's going all out for it. There you go, diving for that first one, but oh my god, between the legs, <laughs> and that didn't work at all because it went right to the middle of the court. Nathan Lee, all he had to do is jump and snap it right down. Nathan Lee, mid-game interval, up by 6. So he looks like he's in control. Mind you, it was the exact same situation in the second set when uh, Jason Hoshu caught right back up. And as we skip a little bit to begin in the second set... <laughs> We're going to have to see whether Jason Hoshu can continue with that. Oh my goodness! Did you see that? Uh, Nathan Lee with an amazing shot that he thought wouldn't go over. <laughs> and he just turned around and said, Oh, the rally's over because I lost that rally. And <laughs> unfortunately for, for him, the rally wasn't over. And all Jason Hoshu had to do was just drop it down into a corner, which he did to uh, get him back within striking distance. But after that nice smash by by Nathan Lee he's still up by 6 and Jason Hoshu uh, knows that last gift was uh, was not going to come by on a regular basis and he knows he's going to need to keep trying need to keep pushing hard and need to keep f uh, pressuring Nathan Lee in order to come back from this and now switching to a long serve uh, forehand long serve that didn't work quite as well as he wanted because all that gave was Nathan Lee uh, a chance to attack and maintain the attack through it, the entire rally for an easy point. I, well, I wouldn't say it was an easy point, but it was a lot easier than what you would get from a short serve. And <laughs> that was an easy point though. That was definitely easier than the last rally. And Nathan Lee giving up that very, very easy, easy mistake right there and back to a 5 point deficit for Jason Hoshu looking to attack yet again going straight up to the front of the net and to the back and attacking oh my just a little bit out you know what he was trying for he was trying to pin the uh, pin Nathan Lee into the corner but did not work quite as well as he planned and this is when you saw uh, just like earlier in the earlier stages of the match that Jason Hoshu is prone to a few errors here and there and these errors are going to be costly when it comes to a third set tiebreaker oh wow Nathan Lee having the entire left side of the court open went for a little bit too much and yet again now still a five point uh, deficit from Jason Hoshu time is starting to run out though and when Nathan Lee can go for shots like that tricking uh, tr tricking Jason Hoshu to come up to the front of the net and then flicking right over him he's gonna be in a good position 15-9 for Nathan Lee but uh, there seems to be a dispute as to what the score is right now uh, we have the luxury of uh, watching a scoreboard right now which says 15-9 but I think uh, Nathan convinced Jason that it was uh, 16 but we're going to keep the scoreboard as is and go by how many points that the players actually won and and see where it goes from there maybe maybe Nathan Lee only needs uh, 20 to win this third set or maybe he needs 22 We'll, we'll see at the, ending, uh, at the ending stages, assuming that he actually wins this uh, third set. Mind you, right now he's in an excellent position to do so because he's up by six.
and possibly up by seven, depending on how they count the score. And well, Jason Hoshu is still using that smash to great effect, going right down the right side line, and so accurate when it is when when his smash is on, and continuing to attack in every single rally, causing the mistake by Nathan Lee right there, and dropping the lead down to four, at, serving at 16-14. <laughs> still. You'd think that Nathan Lee might win this, but but every single time Nathan Lee pulls ahead, Jason Hoshu has found a way to dig deep and and return everything that Nathan ha has has got to offer and come back from these major deficits. And we're gonna see whether Jason Hoshu can continue with that. Definitely still attacking hard, and again, wow, that's two in a row that uh, that Nathan has misjudged completely. Both of these shots in the baseline were in by at least a few inches, if not a six, a six, uh, half a foot or so. So, uh, very poor judgment there by Nathan Lee. And wow, yet again, poor judgment. Great defense, though, n does not work. And lands just outside the left sideline. And wow, just when I said uh, Jason Hoshu was looking to come back, he does come back. Now he's down by only one. And I think that was in as well. So we're going to see how Nathan calls it. Yep, that was in. So tie game at 16 all. It can't get any closer than this. It was close all the way from the first set. And now, wow, did uh, Jason just... Let's hope he's not injured. Uh, he looks like he's uh, pretty happy about it. And the crowd uh, seems to be pretty reassured that uh, he's just stretching a little bit. So maybe... Maybe the intensity of this match causing him to, to cramp up just a little bit. He needed to stretch for and maybe take a little bit of a break. But back to the game at 17-16 for Nathan Lee. Big attack down to the body going for the safer shots. And oh, ouch. That did not turn out quite as well as J uh, Jason Hoshu would have hoped. Giving up the two-point lead now because he shot that cross court just a little bit out. That was probably four or five inches out. And that was unfortunate for him because he knew exactly what shot he wanted to go for. He was completely set up for it. And now a three-point lead by Nathan Lee. He's, he's not going to give this up, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is going to finish it. This guy is not going to fall into the same pattern of mistakes that, that he did earlier on in the match to give up the second set. He's going to go for it, all out attack, just like that. And 2016, it looks like, well, it, oh, it looks like Nathan Lee did give himself an extra point at 2016 to win the match. So, to the finals we go!